Wow. Welcome back to the Spanless Game, where I'm playing every Super Nintendo game in order of release. And for the month of August, I'm going to be spending less time playing these games because I have a lot of work to do. I have four games today, Acme, Animation Factory, Animaniacs, Arrow Fighters, and Al Unser Jr.'s Road to the Top. And our first game today is Acme Animation Factory. And let's play the game. Oh, wait, we got to look at the back of the box. And uh, that's a lot of really small text. But look, it's Bugs Bunny and Cartoon in a Factory. Let's play the game. Yeah, look, it's Errol the Acrobat again. This time he's an artist! <laughs> Probe. Oh, it's a mouse game. Of course it is, because it's trying to be Mario uh, paint. Is it a dress all, folks? Let's see what that does. Wow. Anyway, let's, uh, that was fun. So it's like a fancy coloring book. Hey. Oh, and he's on my drawing. Great. What's the Game Boy do? No, oh, it's just a matching game. I got one. I got two. I'm dead. Wow, that was fun. What else we got? Uh, music. Okay, let's play it. Perfect. It's just settings. All right, let's rate it. That was fun. Graphics, they're, they're, they're what you draw, but the graphics around the graphics that you draw, I'll give those a six and a half. They look like Looney Tune characters, sure. Sound. Um, they had the voices from the characters. I'll give that a five. Music, uh, three and a half. Story, there is none. Controls, you use a mouse to draw stuff, so it's hard to mess that up. Five and a half. Funness, uh, three. And a half does hold my attention a two, and overall it's going to get a four and a half. That was Acme Animation Factory. Let's see what's next. Our next game is the Animaniacs. Animaniacs, yay. I'd sing the song if I felt like singing the song. I do feel like singing the song. I just don't actually know the words. Uh, the Brain Stole Hollywood's Hottest New Movie Script and the Warner Brothers CEO. I'm giving you the Animaniacs the job of finding the script's missing scenes by searching through seven Warner Brothers, Warner Brothers movie sound stages filled with hilarious hijinks. Okay. It's a Konami game, so there's hope. I will press start. 
Gee, Brian, what do you want to do tonight? The same thing we do every night, Pinky. Try to take over the world. Okay. Take. Hello, nurse. Oh, Animaniacs. I miss you. I know they made more of them, but I miss you. We lost one! Is that Wacko? We lost Wacko! Break! Oh no, he caught me! No, no, they got me. Okay. <laughs> it's harder than it should be. Graphics. Uh, graphics are good. I'm going to give those a seven and a half. Uh, sound. We'll give it a sounded like a cartoon. Wacky sound. Six. Uh, music. Probably gets annoying after a while, but I liked it because, you know, it's the Animaniac song. Six and a half. Story. Uh, we'll give that a two. Controls were okay. Not really sure. Wasn't great at it, but uh, we'll give that a six. Funness, a six does a hold my attention, a seven, because I like the Animaniacs, and overall it's going to get a six uh, and a half. That was Animaniacs. Let's see what's next. Our next game today is Arrow Fighters. Arrow Fighters from Arcade Hit. From Arcade Hit? Great. One or two players simultaneous shooting game. Okay, let's read that again. From Mako River, whoever you are. So this box art is going to inspire great confidence in me. From Arcade Hit, one or two players, simultaneous shooting game. Okay. Arrow Fighters. The world's hope hinges on your combat skills and sheer determination as an arrow fighter. Defend the world from unknown alien forces that are attempting to take over the world. I will defend the world from those forces taking over the world. You must extract these unknown forces before they can execute the plot of dominance. After conquering the unknown forces, the battle continues into space where the unknown controlling intellect di dictated to detect... Where the controlling intellect dictated the takeover attempt. You must seek and destroy this evil force before it prevent it from seizing other worlds. I don't care about other worlds. I care about my worlds. Maca River! Which plane do I want? I don't know the F-18. Flown by Keaton. I haven't played a shmup in a while. Early in the life of the Super Nintendo, there were so many shmups. And then... Kind of the mediocre platformer took over, as far as the majority of games went. It's kind of nice to see something different. Oh, this game makes me wish, wish I had a turbo button. Some shmups you can just hold the button and shoot. This is not one of those. P Scored in the ball. I want to be. <laughs> Boom, all of you dead. 
You're dead. Shmuppity shmup shmup. Oh no, I'm dead. I'm going backwards. Help. Oh. <clears throat> no, the grass just moved. It's fine. Normal. Completely normal. All right, shmup. Let's wait. Okay, graphics. I'm going to give those a seven. Sound. Uh, shmups always have good sound. We'll give those a six and a half. Music. I'll give that a seven. Story. And, uh, aliens attack one. Controls. <clears throat> I just wish uh, when you held down the button, it continuously shot. So I'm going to ding it a little bit from that and give it a six. Funness, uh, we'll give it a six. Does it hold my attention? No, but I'm not that into shmups. And overall, I'm going to give it a, oh, we'll give it a six and a half. That was Arrow Fighters. Let's see what's next. Our final game today is Al Unser Jr.'s Road to the Top from Al Unser Jr., two-time Indy 500 champ. Back of the box. Have you got what it takes to, uh, have you got the drive to make it to the top? Warning, intense racing action. Do not play the game if you can't handle the speed. Guts required. Okay. Great. Al Unser Jr. is a trademark of himself, I hope. Mortal Kombat! Go-karts. This track is similar to a course I started on. Get a feeling for how cart handles and accelerates. On your mark, get set, go! There's my gas pedal. I'm not sure where my brake is. Mario Kart, this ain't. All right, I feel like we've had enough practice with carts, so. I didn't win? Quitters never win. All right. And I think we go straight to the uh, Indy cars. Hey, it's just like the uh, guard carts, different graphics. And the sound is different. If you do feel a little bit faster, still not like blazing. And other than the kind of mode 70 track here, <clears throat> there's really nothing graphically that couldn't have been done like on a Nintendo. It's not that great. It's rated. Okay, Al Winsor Jr. Graphically, you're going to get a four sound. I like the sound, especially the indie cars sound cool. Give it a six. Uh, music, it sounded like Mortal Kombat on the, on the uh, opening, but then there wasn't anything after that. Uh, give it a, actually, let's give it a four. Story, there is none. Controls are fine. Uh, funness, oh, three and a half. Does it hold my attention? Not really. And overall, it's going to get a four and a half. That's Al Hunter Jr.'s Road to the Top. And thanks for watching. We'll see you next game.